Hello, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lee, and in today's sewing vlog I'm going to turn this duvet slash sheet into a gathered circle skirt. I love enormous skirts. I have made a normal circle skirt, double circle skirt, box plated circle skirt and now I'm trying the gathered skirt. I did the photo shoot for this one on a boat that also functions as a museum in my city. So I hope you enjoy it. I kind of give a mini tour of this boat at the end of the video. So stick around if you would like to see that. Now let's sail into this project Titanic style. So I started this project by cutting up this duvet and I'm going to cut it into two equal pieces. Now I'm going to make a gathered circle skirt. So you need to measure the waist and divide this by 6.28 or double pie, but not the good tasting pie, no, the matte pie. And for a normal circle skirt, that's it. But for a gathered circle skirt, you need more fabric to gather around your waist. So I'm going to multiply this by two and a half. Or you can also still take three if you would like to increase the gathering. And this is the measurement for your small circle. So draw this out. And for a big circle, add the measurement of your little circle to your desired skirt length. And draw a second big circle. Then I cut this all out. Now, to make this a little bit more complicated, my fabric wasn't big enough to do this. So I made two half circle skirts and I'm going to set them together into one. I did this by dividing the measurement for your little circle, your waist length divided by 6.28. You take this measurement and you divide it by two and you use this to draw the circles. You're going to draw two circles on two separate pieces of fabric and this way you can make this into one big circle. And then I zigzagged all around the edges to prevent my two half circle skirts from unraveling. Not alone here on my Sunday sewing day, please say hi to my dog and leave a like and comment for him. Thank you! Now I'm going to set two pieces together, but I will first make big, nice, practical pockets for in between them. To make the pocket pieces, you simply draw a line with a piece of chalk. And make sure that this line is big enough so your hand can fit into it. Then I draw an oval or square shape around it, as big as you want it to be. I always make it 20 or 30 centimeters. And now I'm going to cut this out and copy this four times to make two practical pocket pieces. Then I zigzag stitched around the pocket pieces to prevent them from unraveling. And then I measured the places where I wanted the pockets to be in the skirt. I choose 23 centimeters or 9.7 inches, according to Google. I pinned them on the places where I wanted them to be and I sewn them with a simple straight stitch. Once the pocket pieces are safely stuck, I laid the skirt together and I sewn it into my big circle skirt. I only attached one side, I'm going to attach the other side after I made the gatherings. This is what the skirt will look like. It's a circle skirt that is two or three times too big for you. Now I'm going to gather this baby up. I first tried gathering this with just a normal straight stitch on its biggest stitch length, but this kept breaking, so I did it in another way. I took a piece of yarn and I zigzag stitched this all around the top of the skirt. Make sure that you zigzag stitch at the sides so the yarn is not stuck into the stitch. This is really important. 
you can move your skirt along the yarn and pull it into the size of your belly. I'm going to pull it into 76 centimeters. And once I got the length that I wanted, I knotted the two ends of the yarn so it couldn't move anymore. Then I cut a waistband. So I, so I cut a waistband from 13 centimeters or five and a half inches. And the length was my waist, of course, what is 76 centimeters. If you want to know what that is in inches, then I suggest that you Google it. And then I cut this waistband out. It's always smart to add a centimeter or inch extra, so you're sure. And, and then I took my ironer and I, and I ironed the top and the bottom edge inside. And then I folded the waistband over the edge of my skirt. Take your time to do this and make sure that the gathering sits evenly. I'm not that good at gathering, I'm going to admit it. I like the way it looks, but I don't often do it because I think it's really hard. Now you have to sew the gathering in and I suggest that you do this slow and make sure that the gatherings sit nicely before you sew it in. This took me 10 minutes to sew and it's only like 70 centimeters. My time I enjoyed the sun and I'm pretty okay with my end result. Now we're entering the final steps of the video. So I'm going to add the pocket pieces to the other side. And sew a zipper into the side. I made this one with a side zipper. So I sewn the zipper in at both sides. I also found this zipper in the thrift store. You can really find nice sewing stuff in this thrift store. If you take your time to look for it, just a little hint. And then I sew the edge closed, also with the pockets. Don't forget to sew the pockets, very important. And now we're almost at the end of this sewing vlog. And you can see that the shadow is almost out to get me. So I will quit sewing for today. I always hang my circle skirts on a doll. I read somewhere that it's better to let them hang for a night before you hem them. So I did this and now I'm going to hem them. And now I'm going to hem the hem. Okay, so that was it for this week's video. I really enjoyed the whole process of this it was a long time ago that i could spend the whole day outside because my job is inside and i really enjoyed this outside swing day i also enjoy taking pictures and you know the setting of the things that i make so, so me and my photographer we decided to do this one on a boat this is kind of like a boat slash museum that you can visit in my city so we just simply paid the tickets we walked around and we took all of these amazing pictures i kind of made of a mini vlog i'm not going to start vlogging because i won't be very good of it but i really like this setting so i decided to film it a little bit and Boats are really not made for women in heels, but I think that most people already knew that. So I got to take them off a few times just to avoid tripping and falling. And I will also show you a little bit of the inside of this boat. It's actually very interesting and pretty. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy this very bad filmed vlog. Okay, so we are leaving the boat. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it until the end, you are awesome. 
please give this video a like. The like symbol is just to cover up people who didn't consent to being into this video, but still can be functional both ways. And I'm also going to put a lot more work into my Instagram, so please also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you, bye, see you next time.